hello and welcome to king tech coding clinic once again and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to extract contact from any whatsapp group of our choice okay but before we delve right into this this particular video is divided into two sections the first part of it which we shall be starting right away is where we shall be extracting contact from any whatsapp platform of our choice and store them in excel and create a database for that in our next lesson we're going to see how we can send bulk sms to all those contacts we've just created or we've just extracted from the whatsapp platform so if this is the first time you're visiting our youtube channel we plead you subscribe press the notification bell so that you can receive notification anytime or press the bell icon so that you can receive notification anytime we upload a new video and also like and share thank you so much for that now let's quickly delve right into that now let me just launch my browser from here so i have been doing that so i already have this here but for your sake you just have to type in your browser web.whatsapp you can see that so you just choose that and choose the first link and then it should get loaded so let's see we'll go forward okay for now it's connecting because i've already connected using the same browser and this same account multiple times so in your case if this is the first time you will be, you will be prompted with a qr code to scan so what you have to do is just to pick your phone launch your whatsapp on your phone you press the three dot at the top right corner and then you choose link a device okay you choose link a device or link devices so on the link devices you see a green button saying link a device so once you tap on it your camera will just turn on and then you can they just scan the QR code on your PC to get your con to, to, to get your WhatsApp locked into the, the, the WhatsApp web and get everything up and running. So that is that. So now for now, let's just wait for this one as it gets connected. The, the, the network seems a bit slow from here. So let's see how it goes. Okay, it's now downloading my messages it takes time so let's see here this is going to be all right we are almost there perfect so there we go having our contacts <coughs> up and running on our pc now so what we are going to be doing right now is so depending on the group which you would want to extract the contact from supposing i would want to extract my contact from a group like uh, spanish with uh, reginita so i'll just have to just open that particular um group and quickly from there i'll just come to the top here and right click then I'll go to inspect okay just click on inspect so on inspection here it will be prompted with the contact okay for now it didn't pop up so we can easily just close this and then redo that action again so you right click and go to inspect once again okay so let's see how this goes now okay so let's see okay still it's not providing me with the contact so don't worry it should come okay so quickly let me just close it once again and try that last time so you right click and go to inspect once again uh very good so you can see the contact are here now now it's now captured so sometimes you just have to try that multiple times and then you should get that up and running so the contact are here now so what is going to happen right now is this you can see the numbers here so you can just um first of all let me just minimize this now so let's create the excel file in which we'll be storing all those contacts so you just right click on your desktop you go to new and then let me just close this go to new and then you choose um excel okay so you can just give it a name like um my sms data my sms data okay so quickly <clears throat> you just double press the enter key to open that okay so we're going to be storing all those contacts here so let's minimize this for now quickly come back here so right now what we shall be doing just right click here and go to um um after right clicking you just quickly go to copy and you just go to copy element okay so once you click on copy element you can just minimize this and then restore your whatsapp okay so here you can just um select on this and then control v to paste so you see that it's already pasted here okay but we need to do some little things to get our contact up and running without any issues here 
so to start with quickly where we just have to do what we just have to do right now is just to go to data here on the data tab you just come to a uh, text to column so you choose that and then here you just select delimited okay and you just click on next so here you just introduce just a comma here okay then quickly click on next again and then finally just click on finish so you can see that it has just cleared everything that comes with the content that made everything just disorganized so all those things are now gone okay so now we just have to it can be like this for us to use it for whatever we would want to use it for okay so what we are going to be doing right now is just to select the entire row here and then control c to copy then you just come here maybe you would want to paste it for me so you just select this right click and just go to paste special okay paste special so you go to that and then choose paste special so here you would want to choose um transpose so you choose transpose you click on transpose here so you select transpose and you click on okay so you can see how it's pasted so after that you can just select this row once again you can just select this row once again and right click and delete that row so now that is gone so i can just delete this first contact here from here so done so just double click here to maximize the, the, the column for you and then you can go ahead and do the formatting would want to do so now observe this uh we have almost 110 contacts in this uh, particular or even maybe, let's say one because we have some uh, rows here which are empty so basically we can have something like 107 contact from here to the bottom is the same contact as from from that side to the top so we are going to delete from here to the bottom so you can just select this then press ctrl shift on the keyboard and press the down arrow right like this so you just right click and just click on clear content it will just clear that because what we have there is the same as what we have at the top okay it's the same thing so once you are done with that you can see that your contacts are up and running but here the contacts are just coming with their with the country code okay maybe you might not want this like that i don't normally work with a country code okay so i just prefer having the zero right in front of that so how do we do that you can just go for find and replace okay so to do that you can just um control f on the keyboard to launch the find and replace control f okay so what are we finding we would want to find plus this uh plus two three one or plus two three two or plus two three three so first of all let's start with the first one that is plus two three one so here we are finding plus so you just type what you are finding plus two three one okay so once you just click on find or it will find all the numbers that start with 231 as the code for for now we have only one so you can just click on find or it says only one so you don't want to come to replace what are you replacing it with they are replacing it with zero so you just choose zero here and then to click replace all you can see that it's now replaced with the zero so we are done with that now we also have another one plus 232 so we need to find that one as well so you just come to find what and then plus two three two so you just go to find all so we have just this one alone then what are we replacing you can see we are replacing with zero you maintain the zero and say replace all that one too is also replaced now the next one we have is the plus two three three which is which we have them it's like that one is is many we have them in large numbers so we can just search for all that so we'll find that so plus two three three so once we click on find or it will find all the contact that start with plus two three three okay so let's do that find all so we have all the contacts here plus two three three you can see there are many here so we would want to replace them with what zero okay so we are replacing with what zero so it is a replace or it will replace all the contact with plus two three three to what zero so you can see that we have them like that replaced so let's scroll down here and see the rest okay so we can see that all those contacts are now replaced so we now have another one plus two three four and then plus two three seven here so let's find them as well plus two three four okay so we change this to four and find all so we done so we want to replace with zero so replace all so it will replace with zero as well now the last one plus two three seven so we find that as well and then say find all so you choose that and then replace all you replace with zero as well so basically we are done getting our contact up and running okay but there is another thing we would have to do okay supposing you would want to uh okay supposing you would want to attach some title for now you don't know the names for the various contacts so you would want to attach something like hi say 
like say madam or miss or something like that so we can do that just say from the top here just right click from the top here just make sure your cursor changes to this drop down arrow pointing to the bottom and right click and just go to insert you insert another column from here so we can minimize this column now just reduce the column size so here you can just caption here as the names okay something like that names and then here you can just caption here as the contact okay contact perfect so we can just delete these two columns if you like can allow them to be there okay right click and then delete perfect so here you can have something like say madam or miss or whatever so you can say say sorry say then slash uh, miss slash madam or whatever so once you do that you would want to apply for the same thing all of them should have the same title like that so whenever you are sending a message you would want to start with either say miss or madam whichever see the title of the contact then fine hooray we are good to go so we would want to format it here so just select this and then uh, you just go to home tab you would want to give it a very nice color from here like this deep one then the font color should be white sorry uh, this is freezing so it's perfect then you can just select it again and i would want to change the font style to times new roman so we've done that as well so i would want to increase the font size a bit and bold it so perfect we have our contact up and running so now the next thing we'd have to do is you can see that between the contact we have some spaces like after the zero there is space here before the two zero then another space sometimes what i've noticed is that when sending messages with this type of contact with spaces in between the contact you do get some errors okay so to avoid that we need to just make sure we take off all those spaces so we're going to use a particular function called the substitute function in excel to do that so to start with just type equal to here then just type substitute so once you begin typing it pops up so we'd want to choose this as our text and then introduce comma and then uh, what we're going to do right now is um, we are substituting this so we just introduce uh, this give a space so we are substituting this and then comma then to this then you close the brackets then you press enter so you can see that it's, re it's, it's removed okay so let me just start the, 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 the function once again for you to see okay so i'll just click inside here let me just start from here again so so equal to then substitutes and you tab over we would want to substitute something from the text here so you can just introduce comma so we are substituting what the empty spaces so this this with closed spaces so this is a closed space so you just select this and then you are done so you can see that it's taken off from there so you can just double click to fill for the rest so you can see that the spaces are taken off but for now these contacts here are also depending on this formula okay so we're going to copy it and paste it without the formulas so that we can get our contact neatly set up up and running okay so you can just do it with this one when we are done so to do that we can just select all this and then right click and then click on copy then you just uh, right click here they just click on okay we would want to go to a piece special here and then I just go to paste special so we want to paste only the values okay so you choose paste values and then click on okay so the values are pasted without the formulas so here we are depending on the formula so you can see that so press the escape key to clear the copying so you can just select this move your cursor to the top right click and then delete that so we've deleted that one that comes with a uh, formula so you can see our contact are now standing by themselves and up and running and ready to send messages okay or to receive messages when the messages are sent through those numbers so we'd want to bring extend our contact stuff here so you can just say contact sorry and then we get that from here okay so our contact will now come here let me just send this okay so we have that so now we are going to just delete this one as well so we can just right click from here to the top like this and then quickly delete it so this takes our contact now so we can just uh select this and then uh, format painting and then we have this here so we are done with that so with these errors we can just ignore them so we can just do this and just uh, just choose this drop down arrow here and say ignore so once you do that you can just fill for the rest then you should ignore all the comment all of that okay so let's see how it goes 
sorry it didn't actually work so let's let's quickly go back and then uh, uh just select okay let me just undo this action now so you can select all this okay once we select all these sprites now you can just come here and then ignore error so it will ignore for all the contact like that okay so now our contact is now set and up and running okay so basically that is that so what i've noticed is that it's like those those contacts that are that are like outside the country uh, messages are not sent through those contacts i don't know why so why don't we just take them off okay but if you like can maintain them it will always send to those that are from the country so now basically this is how we extract contacts from whatsapp and store them in excel as our database so for now our database is set in our next tutorial we're going to see how we can send sms or bulk sms to all these contacts in just simple steps we'll see you in the next lesson